My name is Paul. I just turned 21. I dropped out of my university about a year ago. I'm currently living in my parents' house. This is a day in the life of a university dropout e-commerce brand owner. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I think today was. I think today was a lot easier than yesterday. But in terms of temperature, today's a lot colder. But I don't know. Maybe it's getting a little easier. Hopefully it does though. <laughs> Bro, it has to get easier, man. Fuck. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm still freezing my ass, but we'll see. Today's gonna be a good day. Let's go back inside. All right guys, so I just got changed and for today, I have decided to go on a little walk and while listening to motivational speech, I just want to let my mind drift away and let the power of imagination really set the tone for my day. Imagination is a powerful tool for you guys to leverage because you have to see yourself, which is why vision is so important. And that vision comes from your imagination. Let your mind drift away and just imagine how you're going to be in the future, who you're going to become. And currently it's 4.50. I'm just going to start my day off like that and see how my day feels. I'm ready to go outside. I'm on jacket. Guys, so I just got home. I'm a little extra tired today. Yeah, that was definitely a good session of me just thinking about my future and really having that vision. And I think the key is to really emotionalize that vision that you have because people are influenced by emotions, not by just plain thoughts. I think that's a very important thing to really consider. And also, listening to motivational speech in the morning reminds you why you're grinding. Really similar to having a coach beside you where he's just like telling you to keep pushing and just spitting games simply and yeah that always motivates me and i've been listening to motivational speech every single day the past 11 months i've been in this journey and it's helped a lot so if you guys are struggling with motivation let's go on shopify and search a motivational speech and you'll find a couple up there and yeah it's that shit hits you man. like 503 at the moment i'm gonna just eat my leftover from yesterday i'm gonna do some work i'll see you guys before i head to the gym just to give you a little update if you guys are in the e-commerce space and you guys run Facebook ads, we all know how shitty Facebook ads can be. Our budget was at $50, daily spending limit for a very long time. We're stuck there for like three, four months. And we finally got out and we've been spending scaling. But yesterday, for no reason, the budget's back down to 50. No restrictions, no notifications as to why this happened. It just, Facebook just simply dropped our daily spending limit back to $50. At least hopefully today, our daily spending limit can go back up to its original amount. And, but yeah, that's just a small little business update for you guys that are in the e-commerce space. But yeah, let's fucking crush it. That's up? You know, leftover shawarma hits different, bro. You already know we're cooking it up in the lab. All right, guys, so I just finished my work session. Right now, the time is currently 6 a.m. I get some nice shoulder pump today. I just wanted to say you guys have to try to keep in mind that your habits are the building blocks of your life and where you're going to end up. But it's the things that you do on a daily basis that truly matters. And just wait until the power of compound do its job. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the gym. Yeah, two blocks of pre- My face got so chubby from this book, it's actually not even fun. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> what are we hitting today? 
basketball. Basketball, you heard of man. Let's get it. This soon to be a land. Very, very soon. We're back, baby. All right, guys, we're almost done our workout for today. We're hitting our last exercise. I filmed some content for my TikTok account as well. And yeah, bro, you didn't know, guys. Back in by day, it's the best day, baby. Yes, sir. So I just got back home from the gym. I walked my dog. And now I'm just gonna do my reading session. Read for about 30 minutes or so and eat food. And yeah, I'm just gonna start grinding for today. Today, it's gonna be very productive as always. So after the first session of our deep work, it's currently about 3 p.m. We're just walking our dog, just refreshing our minds a little bit. We're gonna probably grab some lunch and get back to grinding. But the session that we had was very productive. Very tired though, but it was worth it. Very worth it. First things first. First things first, baby. Let's go. So I just finished my second session of my deep work. I got some work done, finished one of my ad videos that I had to create for today. And I completed all the tasks that I made this morning on the all to do list that I made. I just have to do two more things, which is some tasks that I need to complete for my content creation side. Currently I'm editing some videos. I'm planning to maybe just edit for like another hour or two and eat some dinner with my dad and my brother. And yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up my day. So we'll see how much work I can get done in a couple of hours. And yes, I got a nosebleed while I was showering. Don't know why, maybe I'm just a little physically tired the past couple of days after I changed up my sleep schedule. But yeah, I'm, my body's slowly getting used to it. Grind hard every day, boys. Do it for your future self, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, guys, so that's gonna wrap up my day four. So after editing my YouTube video, I actually got some food with my dad. Right now it's about 8.44. Uh, after I film this video, I'm just gonna journal and just end my day off there. And when I was listening to motivational podcast today, there was one thing that really stood out that I just wanted to share with you guys. The guy was basically saying that the magic you guys are looking for is in the struggle that you guys are avoiding. The things that you know you're supposed to be doing things that you know that you aren't supposed to be doing and things that aren't really moving you towards your goal, you have the choice to make those decisions. What really helped me the most to stay resilient or just to stay persistent was me really understanding that I'm the only one that's really slowing myself down or limiting myself and I'm the only one that could bring me up to the goals and dreams that I have. The choice is yours. Whether if you wanna stay in you know, mediocrity, just live like how everyone else is living, that's fine, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you want abundance and wealth and many aspects of life, the choice is yours. It's not gonna be easy, but as soon as you have the desire and you have the goal, those things are emotionalized, you will be able to do it. Now it's been four days since I recorded my, my daily routines, but as you can see, my life isn't fancy. The only thing is, I know what I want in life and I know the actions that I'm supposed to be taking and I'm just doing them every single day despite not seeing the results or any instant gratification that everyone looks for. If you just put your head down and just believe in the process, which is what I'm currently doing so I can't really say anything about it because I'm not there yet. But the reason why I'm documenting my whole journey is so that I'll be able to kind of prove to everyone that it is possible and all you need to do is just shift your mentality because thing is you can't change the world you can't change how things are around you the only thing you can change or the only thing you have control of is the way you react to certain things so keep that in mind you know i'm just gonna keep recording and documenting my journey but yeah i'm just here to hopefully motivate you guys as well and just leave video evidence that anyone can be a millionaire or a billionaire or whatever you want to do in life and it all starts from here God bless you. Good morning, guys. It's currently 4.37 on a Wednesday morning. Oh, fuck. Baby food. It rained last night, and that's just a little colder. 
in. Don't get easy, bro. One minute remaining. Bro, how the fuck do people not shiver in this shit, man? It's like almost impossible to not shiver. Ah, oh, my hands are gonna get frosted. Oh, fuck. 15 seconds, baby. Let's get it. Woo! Oh! This shit does not get easy, bro. This is so fun. Guys, to be honest, I don't know if this is just gonna get easier, but all I know is getting colder and colder in Canada. Today is gonna be a good day. Thank the Lord. I just changed and I'm about to head out and maybe spend the next five to 10 minutes just to set my mind right for the day. Let the imagination go crazy. You guys have to understand that your mind is very powerful. Anything you can imagine, once that imagination is emotionalized, you can use that as a source of drive throughout your whole day. Which is why I start off my day with the motivational speech. And while I'm listening to motivational speech, I let my mind just drift away. Just try for one day and see how that works. So I just got back. It was a very good session. My mind is ready to crush the day. I'm just gonna make some breakfast real quick. I just got some food, peanut butter and jelly. It's a quick breakfast before I go to the gym. There are some people that ask me, how do you know if you're on the right path or not? Well, for me, I know I'm on the right path because it's not being easy. I'm frustrated and I'm exhausted as fuck, but I asked for this and I realize things that I'm doing on a daily basis is for a reason. So I just tell people that if the stuff that you're doing is easy, and if you think it's way too simple, you're going in the wrong direction. Becoming ultra successful should never be easy. You have to go through trial and error, because that's how your character is built. Anyways guys, I really hope you guys also chase your own dreams, and don't listen to anyone, because you're living this life for yourself, and yourself only. And when God looks down at you and he sees his creation, you want to be one of the best soldiers that he created. Make him proud. Make your parents proud. You guys got this. I'm going to do some work before I go to the gym. Today's leg day, so I'm not too excited for that. All right. Right now, we're heading to the gym. going to lie to you. Today, felt extra tired. And I wanted to just stay home. Let's get back into my cozy bed. But you know the drill. We got to do what we got to do. Things first. What? <laughs> <laughs> First things first, first yes. Yeah. It's the unnegotiable things that we need to do every morning to get ahead of all these other competitors out there. Good morning. Now give me a smile. Where we at? Everyone is watching you. <laughs> right. We're back. Look down. Look down. Look up. 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 Look Today's workout was very ineffective. My shoulders were pretty sore, but what really matters is that we still ended up coming here. It was a quick short workout, it was around 55 minutes or so, but we still got our workout in. Time to go home and start our morning routine there. It's important to show up. You guys got this. Walking our dog. Beautiful weather today. This is Isaac talking about our next business plan for today and end of our week, end of our month small goals that we set and today for me i'm gonna start prepare our business for halloween's halloween um holiday um christmas black friday and we're getting our agents account probably tomorrow or the day after so a lot of work to do so we usually every time we walk our dog in the morning times we plan out the day what we're gonna do throughout the whole day just to make sure that we have a rough idea as to what we should complete and just to get things done. What are you gonna do for all three? I have to make two more DCTs and also review our competitors' videos, how they're preparing for the Q4 coming up. And I also need to create one fitness video on my TikTok as well as continue to edit my first YouTube video. Yeah, it's a lot of work. 
lot of work, but gotta do what we gotta do. Moving towards our goal step by step. Every single day. Let's go, baby. So we're trying to figure out what we should eat for breakfast. Guys, look how organized my parents are. This layer, this section right here is chicken. They labeled this as beef. So this is all beef section, pork section right here. This is seafood. Down here. Yeah, but guys, look at our ramen. Look at that. <coughs> Bro, we're stacked up. This is how you know we're Asians. Do you see that? It's a whole ass convenience store down here, man. <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. Muy. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna get some work done. Another deep work session. Just script some more videos, so we can post them maybe tomorrow or so. We got our dog keeping us company. <laughs> first six, first baby. Hey guys. So we just got some work done. Got some food. Now we're just walking our dog. I made a DCT, like a video that I'm gonna post on my Facebook ad. And we're still currently waiting for an agency account to arrive. So we're patiently waiting for that and slowly preparing for a Q4 coming up. So we're probably gonna just go home, maybe chill for a little bit, work on my YouTube videos and maybe fitness content. And just gonna wrap up my day there. Today wasn't that interesting. Just average stuff. Just staying home and just working. But you yeah. know, that's not bad though. I'm you know, staying home all the time. Sometimes people might think like, oh, that's kind of, that's too, that's, that's a lonely, like lonely lifestyle or that's like so depressing that you don't go out with your friends. But you know, sometimes the more you stay in, you kind of realize how, how nice it is to actually go back out and go, go to see friends, you know? Say fuck it, we don't need no balance. Guys, we're out here grinding. We can focus on the balance later when we're up. Once we're up, and then we can start working on the balance that we have. But right now, guys, time, time is money. Is limited. Time is limited. We gotta get the fuck up quick times. And then when we're up, we can kind of start to slowly relax, take care of our friends and family. But now is the time to grind. So when people come up to us and say balance is important, yeah, balance can be important to a lot of people. But for people that is very hungry for their dreams and their goals that they have, balance is something that's really irrelevant in our in our perspective. There's no balance in our dictionary. You gotta grind hard and outwork every motherfucker, right? That's exactly what we're doing. What are you guys doing? You guys should better be working on your shit, working on yourself, making sure that you guys are achieving your goals. Don't listen to anybody, chase your dreams, follow your goals, just exactly like how we're doing. Set your daily plans, set your daily actions. And watch out, the PVP out here. It's PVP, it's us versus you guys. Get your shit together, come on, let's get it boys. When you guys are going through your daily lives, it's best if you guys have a sense of purpose. Don't just live around, you know, having no plans, no daily actions, that is gonna potentially bring you towards your goals and just like, you know, take a nap. You don't know what you're gonna do the whole day. You have no daily action plans. Like, what are you doing? Time is flowing, guys. Time is going. You're gonna get old. You're gonna get 25, 30, 35. You're gonna be 40. Time is flying Time's by. gonna fly by, guys. You guys need to set a goal and have a vision and have daily plans to work towards that goal instead of you guys just like jerking off, doing nothing at home, just chilling. Letting the system dictate, dictate your choices and actions that you do throughout your day. But thing is, it's crazy because like a year ago, two years ago, when I, when I was not woke, just like everyone else, I thought that was normal. Just Being like, on autopilot. Yeah, just you live your day. Life is, so, life is so busy. You go do your stuff. You get tired. You, oh, go, you weekend, take a nap. You go out. And then it's like back to Monday. And then back to Sunday. Back to Monday. Like what the and, fuck are you doing? And you realize, oh, Christmas. Oh, New Year. Boom. And what did you do? What did you accomplish that year? And a lot of people come up to us and say, nothing really. They got a new job. Yeah, they got a $2 extra raise. Like, is that what you really want for your future? Do you not have a better expectation for yourself? Guys, you guys have one life on this planet. 
is make it worth it. Make God proud of his creation. All right, guys, so that concludes my fourth or fifth day. Um, honestly, today, I just got a lot of work done. It's nothing too crazy. You know, I just made some videos for my, my business and as well as my fitness account. I finished all the tasks that I planned out from the beginning of the day, which I'm very happy about. And to be honest with you guys, this morning I felt very tired and I was feeling very lazy in the morning. I really didn't want to go to the gym today, but I knew that those small little fights that you guys have with your emotions, and once you're able to beat those type of emotions, that's when you're able to train your discipline, where you can transmute that discipline into your work habits and building your goals and achievements. There are a couple of things that are not as great in my business, some challenging chapters at this moment, to say the least, but there are a couple of things that we're not in control of. If you guys are in Facebook, you guys would understand, but Facebook is a pain in the ass headache platform for the advertisers because of their strict rules and even sometimes you get restricted without any cause or reasons. So things in that nature, I don't have any controls over it. So I try to not spend too much time stressing over it and rather spend time on the things that I can control and try to be proactive as I possibly can so I can actually move my business forward. We're still preparing for the upcoming Q4, trying to scale up our business. We also have an agency account that's coming in where we can have a higher daily spending limit. So I'm very excited for that. Yeah, I mean, right now, currently it's around 9.07. I have to, I'm probably gonna end my day here. I got a lot of work done. Today was very productive. I'm just gonna finish my day off with journaling and yeah, tomorrow I have to wake up at 4.30 again and go back into the ice bath. So hopefully that gets a little easier in the future. And the thing that I wanted to tell you guys is to really believe in yourself because everything in the world is created twice. Once in your thought, and that thought becomes a reality. So if you don't believe it, you already lost the battle. So have faith in yourself make sure to keep pushing and even though you guys don't see any results on a daily basis just try to understand that the daily actions that you're taking if those daily actions are moving you guys towards your goal even by one percent a day guys do not underestimate the power of a compound just believe in the process have faith you guys all got this that's exactly what i'm doing i don't have crazy progress yet i haven't achieved my goals yet but i know by the daily actions that I'm taking, through my discipline, I will get there. It is inevitable. I'll see you guys at the top. And you have to believe in yourself, have faith in God. God will guide you and he will be with you throughout the whole journey. So have faith, you guys got this.